Karimbu Ololo, my name is Felista and I'm 30 years old. Um, Ololo Farm and Lodge are actually located just next to Nairobi National Park, uh, 45 minutes from the city centre and generally it's an area you wouldn't expect for a farm to, to be but it's a perfect um, mesh between the lodge and, and the farm which I'll explain to you as we go through our tour. So um, the farm, actually, uh, the biggest thing that we consider here is the environment and sustainability of our project. So uh, that is why we adopted, we are 100% certified organic, but we also borrow a lot from agroecological methods and um, re land regenerative methods in our farming. So um, when I came back to Kenya, I got involved with organizing courses about organic agriculture, um, permaculture, basically uh, agriculture that involves taking care of our environment and diversity. And in one of the courses, which was about uh, vermiculture, which is farming worms to produce uh, fertilizer for your plants, is where I met um, the owner of Ololo Farm. And uh, after some time I came to visit the place and he told me how he was interested in bringing young people on board to bring new ideas and also to train interns who are fresh out of school so that they can bridge the gap between university and work life. And that is how I got hooked into Ololo. And uh, uh, since I've been here, I came as an intern, but now I'm the assistant farm manager of the place. I think we should remove the suckers from this one. Um, I don't know if you remember when you were young, uh, when you look at soil, it had a lot of earthworms, like whenever you're digging it, there was earthworms. But now most of the soil doesn't. It doesn't have anything, like a lot of critters in it, which are very essential in aeration and also just in decomposing organic material. So it is a sign that we've put a lot of chemicals in our soils and they're not able to support themselves anymore in that way. Um, so one of the processes that I talked about mimicking nature is um, just using earthworms. Earthworms, first of all, they they decompose organic material and whatever they produce is very rich organic compost that you can use in several ways, either directly as um, top dressing or you make what we call uh, warm tea, it's liquid fertilizer. And it is, it is so rich that you have to really dilute it, um, but very nutritious for your for your plants. That's what we mainly use here for our plants. Uh, to make sure that they grow without buying commercial fertilizers. After my undergraduate, I really wanted to know what I want to do and I knew it, it was something to do with nature. So I decided to take a two-week holiday. It was in a very remote village that um, had been affected by rural to urban migration. So all the youth had migrated and there were basically um, two couples, very old, who were living there. So a group of young people came together, bought land that was very cheap there and established an organic farm. It was amazing because they were very self-sufficient to the point of producing their own wheat, their own uh, oil. Um, the only thing they were buying is basically salt and sugar. So this really inspired me and the way they were doing it is, you know, really taking care of their soil, taking care of the environment ensuring their forests that were around there were being taken care of. And um, I, I wanted to stay longer. I had gone initially for two weeks. I ended up staying for one year and learning the ins and outs of farming. After I came back home, I wanted to continue working in agriculture. And I know growing up, I knew that farming and agriculture in general is something for you know the poor farmer even when you come from home you see they they're older it's a much older generation and um, maybe people who have retired also and come back to the rural area just to do farming there's a huge gap youth are not interested in agriculture a lot of them are not and it's not their fault entirely we need to bring it to them we need to show them that farming is not just is not agriculture by itself there is so much more in the agricultural value chain so uh, when we're talking about you know production value adding and that is where they can get the money actually how to use um, you know several innovations digital media and all of that so these are things that i am interested in